Welcome to the Real New Zealand Adventures Life in New Zealand daily vlog. Good morning, it is the 26th of September today and I'm heading out on the road. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. Just getting the car loaded up now. Heading up the Waikato for early morning transfer. We are on daylight savings now, so we are an hour behind what we used to be, but never mind. It's actually quite nice having a longer evening. It makes life a bit easier in summer. So we'll just get the car warming up, get the last of the gear in there, do the logbook, and we're out of here. I've got my logbook filled out. I've just realised, well just remembered, today is actually a public holiday. It is the Queen's Memorial Day today in New Zealand. So there shouldn't be too much traffic on the road. Um, there may not be a lot of shops open though, so it could be an interesting day. We'll just see how the day goes. At least we do know that our physio is still happening because she's reconfirmed it, so that's good. Right, just making a quick stop on the side of the road for a coffee and stretch my legs. Not a bad place to stop here. Really nice view out over the beach, which is good in the ocean. We'll just be here for a couple of minutes and we'll keep moving. It's a little bit chilly here in the shade. Just the sun hasn't quite made it here yet. This hill's in the way. I've just arrived in Pew Pew, I'm a fraction early, but that's alright, we'll head in and see if our client's ready and we can go from there. It's been a busy day. Take a look and see what we've been up to. I spent the morning in the office doing the emails and putting together a custom tour for a client wanting a tour four to five days in the North Island on their visit to New Zealand. They've given me some places they're interested in going and it's my job to piece an itinerary together and fill it up with other activities and quote an all-inclusive tour price for them. So that kept me busy for a while, then I headed outside to see what the kids were up to and get some jobs done. What are you doing up there, Colton? Just chilling? Kira's playing with the lammies. Right Finn, you've come out of the bush. Does it look like you've come out of a bush backwards? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Look at your hair. Yeah. <laughs> How are you getting on, Colton? Yeah. Keep practicing. Whoa! Careful.
We've arrived in Otrahong, we've got our client into his appointment. We were a little bit worried we weren't going to make it in there because they were still closed when we got here. But luckily he's in there now doing his physio. He's going to be in there for about an hour. So I'm going to have a quick bit of lunch here while we wait. Got my lunch ready here. Leonie made it before we left home this morning. That's awesome. So I'm going to quickly eat this. Oh, here's Pete. Might be joining him for a cup of coffee soon. Here he is. Pete! How are you, mate? Good, I was just going to have some lunch. You want to go down and get a coffee? Yeah. Down at Origin? Yep, sweet, mate. We'll see you down there. Okay. Change of plans, we're going down to the coffee shop for a coffee. Let's go and do that. Thank you. Great, thanks, love. You're welcome, enjoy. Thank you. Cheers, Ben. No Haven't problem. Haven't seen you in a while, mate. I know. Well, that was great. Had a cup of coffee with Pete down at the cafe. That was a good way to pass an hour instead of sitting in the car waiting. We'll head back up now and see if our client's finished. He, he should be about 15 minutes away, but you never know. We'll go and track him down and see what's happening. <laughs> I've made it back to the pools, that was great, our client's not waiting for me, so that's a bonus. We'll just hang out here for the next 10 minutes or so till he's finished. He should be out any second, then we'll get him back through to Pew Pew. The back of this guy's van says back off tailgater. Yeah. If he drove 100 k's an hour, you wouldn't have tailgaters, mate. Exactly. You're driving 80. That's why everyone tailgates you, because you're driving 80. Go 100 and people won't tailgate you. Right, I've just arrived back at the farm. I'm gonna head up to the house now for a cup of coffee and get the car unloaded. <laughs> 